Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, this is Lithium017 from my channel Nintendo Collecting 101 bringing you collecting tip number 46 called Downloaded Games. As a collector, at the end of the day, I do like having the physical copy in hand just because it's kind of cool for a collection rather than having something digital in a file. First and foremost, I must state that I am not a fan of emulators. I just feel whenever I play them, it's not quite the same. There can be little bugs. If I have the opportunity to play them on the actual console with a normal controller, I really enjoy doing so. So on the current generation consoles, including Wii U, Xbox 360, PS3, Vita, the 3DS, you can download full versions of games. So you might be given a, you know, a card to buy the points from your grandparents or friends or family. And that way you have to actually download games. But these are just some of my tips, tips and tricks of what I would do because I do as a collector like having the physical copy in hand. So if we look at something like Super Mario Bros. 3 back on the NES, and I even have Mario RPG in there as well, they're great, fantastic games that were really fun, and as long as you're playing them at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. I think as long as you're enjoying the experience, that's great. If you have the opportunity to do so, though, I do suggest you actually do, if, especially if you have never in your life, play it on the original console, play it with the original controller, because it's outstanding, and it's just the way it meant, the way it was meant to be. Since I'm not a fan of emulators, I know trying to emulate a Wii game would actually be difficult with the controller and the shaking, but I'm sure there's a way to do it. And eventually the Wii U games and 3DS games will almost be impossible to emulate, unless we get 3D screens and touch screens and things like that. So I don't think emulators are going to work in the long run with a lot of Nintendo games anyways, but having the experience on the original console is outstanding. So I have hooked up right now Mario 3, and I also have hooked up Mario RPG, which you can see there. So let's just change the output, and I will show you RPG as well. And both of those games you can find on the Virtual Console for the Nintendo Wii, which is also the menu that's available on the Wii U. So the Virtual Console does look something like this, and as you see at the top there, for 500 points, which is roughly only $5, you can play Super Mario Bros. 3. And then there's some great titles on this, by the way. On the next page, they have Paper Mario, one of my favorites, Zelda, Super Smash Bros. Mario RPG for $8. If you're a collector, buying Mario RPG would probably be something like, I would assume, $30, plus the box, plus the manual. And if you just get it here, it's great, it's downloadable, so you can play it. If you want to play Nintendo games, downloading them, great option. But if you want to be a collector, actually getting the physical copies with the box, with the manual, is definitely a better way to go. So that's why I eventually did get all these games in box and things like that. And for everything on the Wii U, I am never going to ask for them to be downloadable because I want the physical actual game copies. What I want is this. And hopefully they never go away from this. I don't see Nintendo going away from actually allowing people to go into the store and buy it. I am not overly concerned this generation anyways of titles going the way of the Dodo Bird in terms of physical copies. Eventually they could, but I do think grandparents still like going in and actually buying a physical game. My parents like doing it, rather than just giving me something online that all I get is a card and I have to download it. So in the long run, they might go that way, but definitely not j this next generation with the PS4 and the 720 and the Wii U. Maybe the generation after that, but for now, no. Don't think so. The other thing I should mention with downloadable games there's a lot of games that the only way you could ever play them is online, or if you download them. There's no other option, they're not available any other way, so of course you should download them and try them, because there's some phenomenal games available, such as, that are just downloads, that you have to download. So if you have a favorite downloadable game, maybe leave a comment below for me, and maybe I'll check it out at some point, especially if I get these Wii cards that have the points on them or anything like that. Otherwise, if you're a collector, definitely look to pick up the titles in hand and try and stay away from downloading them, even though they are available right now. And I can show you that on the Wii U really quickly what I mean. Here's the eShop on the Nintendo Wii console on my tablet screen as it wakes up. And there's New Super Mario Bros. Wii U for 60 bucks. Scribblenauts, Sonic. There's so many great games, even Nintendo Land. So if you get the white Wii U, you can download it too. So it's up and running. 
I really am enjoying the Wii U console, by the way. But again, I'm never going to download games unless it's exclusively downloadable. So thank you very much for listening to my collecting tip number 46, downloaded games. Feel free to subscribe if you like my videos, and have a great day.